Hey students, today's lesson is on slope of a line. To get started, let's do some key vocabulary. The slope is a ratio of the change in y, or the rise, to the change in x, or the run, between any two points, which we can call x1, y1, and x2, y2 on the line. So the slope, which we call m, can be written as the rise over the run, or the change in y over the change in x, or we can say it's y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. We also need to know about positive slopes and negative slopes. So a positive slope means that as you're moving from left to right, the line rises. It's going up. A negative slope, as you're going left to right, it falls or it's going down. So we need to describe the slope of each of these lines and find the slope. So for A, this would be a positive slope. It's going up as we move from left to right. And the slope is going to be 4 minus negative 1 over 3 minus negative 3. Now, I chose to make this 0.2 and this 0.1. You could go the other direction. You're going to get exactly the same thing. So our slope here is going to be 4 minus negative 1, which is 4 plus 1, or 5, over 3 minus negative 3, which is 3 plus 3, or 6. So this is a positive slope, and it's 5 sixths. For B, we can tell by looking at it that it's a negative slope, and we can calculate the slope by doing 1 minus negative 2 over negative 1 minus 1. 1 minus negative 2 is 3, and 1 minus 1 is negative 2, so 3 over negative 2, which we'll say is negative 3 halves. All right, let's look at some special situations, um, a horizontal line. So we're going to find the slope. I'm going to do 5 minus 5 over 6 minus negative 1. That gives me 0 over 7, which is 0. You're going to find that the slope of any horizontal line is 0 because the change in y is 0. They have the same y value, so the y2 minus y1 is always 0, which means our numerator is 0 and our slope is 0. Let's look at a vertical line. We're going to calculate the slope, and I'll do 6 minus 2 over 4 minus 4, and we get 4 over 0. Now, we know that we can't divide by 0, so that means we can't have 0 in a denominator. So in this case, the slope is undefined. And that's going to be the case for any vertical line, because our x values are the same. x2 minus x1 is 0, so 0 is always in the denominator, and those slopes of vertical lines are always undefined. Let's look at an example where we're finding the slope from a table. So before we graph these points, we're going to use the table to find the slope. So we can use any two points we want. We've been given four points, but we just need to be consistent over which number we're subtracting from the other one. So I'm going to do 6 minus 8 over 4 minus 1. 6 minus 8 over 4 minus 1. That's negative 2 over 3. So negative two-thirds is our slope. I can also graph the points, 1, 8, 4, 6, 7, 4. And I can sketch the line and see this does appear to be a negative slope. It's not a very steep slope. It has an absolute value less than 1, so it's more of a shallow slope. All right, go ahead and look at the second page where you have parallel and perpendicular lines. Parallel lines are lines in the same plane that do not intersect. We already knew that. But we also know that non-vertical parallel lines have the same slope. So these two lines are not vertical. They both have a slope of 1 half, and they are parallel. So we can prove that lines are parallel by saying that they have the same slope. We're also told that all vertical lines are parallel. And that's important because vertical lines don't have a slope. They're undefined. So if we're saying two lines have 
two lines are parallel if they have the same slope, we also need to clarify that vertical lines are parallel as well because they don't have a slope. So we want to know which of these two lines are parallel. On my screen, I see a blue, a red, and a green. I know on yours that you don't have them in color, but we'll just go from left to right. So the slope of the blue line will do 2 minus negative 2 over negative 3 minus negative 4. 2 minus negative 2 is 4. Negative 3 minus negative 4 is 1. So the slope of that blue line is 4. And that looks about right. It's a positive slope. It's pretty steep. Let's do the red line. The slope is 3 minus negative 2 all over 1 minus 0. So that's 5 over 1 or 5. So it is also a pretty steep slope. It is not parallel to the blue one, though. So the green one hopefully is similar, is uh, parallel to one of the two other lines. So we'll do 1 minus negative 3 all over 4 minus 3. That's 4 over 1 or 4. So the blue and the green are parallel. And we know that because they have the same slope. Now, let's go ahead and look at perpendicular lines. So lines in the same plane that intersect at right angles are called perpendicular lines. Two non-vertical lines are perpendicular when the product of their slope is negative one. We also should specify that vertical lines are perpendicular to horizontal lines. We know that vertical lines don't have a slope, so we need to make that special um, addition to our rule that if the product of the slopes is negative one or if one line is vertical and one is horizontal, we have perpendicular lines. So let's go ahead and look at three lines and figure out which ones are uh, perpendicular. So for me, the blue one is this one on top. So let's find that one first. The slope of that line, let's do four minus six over one minus negative five. So that's negative two over one minus negative five is six. So that's negative one third. And let's go ahead and do the red line next, the other negative slope. So that would be zero minus negative two all over negative five minus two. Ooh, it's starting to bounce there, sorry about that. So we get two over negative seven or negative two sevenths. Let's look at the green line last and see which of these other two lines it is perpendicular to. So let's do 5 minus negative 2 over 0 minus negative 2. That's 7 over 2. So we see this kind of a similarity here between these two slopes. Um, if the product is negative 1, that means it's the opposite of the reciprocal. So let's check this out to double check. If we have negative 2 over 7 times 7 over 2, because the numbers are reciprocal, that part cancels out to 1, and then it's the opposite reciprocal. So 1 is negative and 1 is positive. We get negative 1. So the red line and the green line are perpendicular. Okay, that is it. Go ahead and try the on your own, and I will see you soon.